Hey guys, welcome to the show. Um, Hurricane Dorian absolutely devastated the Bahamas. It parked itself over Grand Central Island or Grand Island in the Bahamas and parked there for a day and a half. Um, that was when this super monster powerful storm was heading toward Florida. Now, everyone's thinking it, but I haven't heard no one say it. Um, we have the power to control the weather. Did Harp stall that storm? Category 5 hurricane over the Bahamas? To give it a chance to weaken, <clears throat> which is what it did a little bit. It downgraded a, a notch or two. But it stalled there for its day and a half, uh, weakened a little bit down to a category four, then I think a category three right before it got close to Florida, then turned north and stayed off the coast. Devastating the Bahamas and and coastal flooding along the US until it gets the <coughs> up up north toward Canada. Do we have that type of control over the weather? Some say we do. Some say we don't. Uh, you know, I don't know. We, you know, it's possible. I said we've been able to do it for 100 years to control the weather, which is odd, but <clears throat> I suppose it's, it's possible now with the, our powerful satellites and harp and that the, the facility up in Alaska and you know I, I suppose they could use microwaves and different things to cause the storm to stall um, aluminum savings and how they react I, I, you know I don't know what do you guys think? Is it possible that uh, some organization caused that storm to stall so long over the Bahamas? I think mean, it was odd how it stalled that long, you know, for a day and a half and just devastated what it did. Or is it just nature itself? What do you guys think? Um, let me know down in the comments. Tell me what you think about. What happened to Hurricane Dorian and uh, the people it's affected there in the Bahamas? I mean, and relief's getting there slow. I mean, right now the the, the counts at 43, which is expected to like significantly go a lot higher than than that. But uh, we're not getting a relief in there. Um, I've heard reports that the U.S. Navy hasn't even got there yet. That the uh, British Navy is already there helping and different airlines are dropping off supplies and um, local personal boats and airplanes are helping getting people out of there at least trying to get them to you know an island or two over to where there is things because there's nothing left on the two islands that it decimated um, no gas stations no stores everything's just a big smelly pile of nastiness and dogs and people bodies just a horrible mess gotta pray for those people and uh, hopefully they get to help there fast to get them out of there because it's still they're in still just as much danger as what there was in the hurricane there with nothing there starving and uh, disease and germs <clears throat> so humanitarian efforts has got to get picked up and Red Cross is there, but uh, more more people's got to step in to help with this. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and um, you know leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and join the team. We'll see you in the next one.